What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me shit recently, man. I guess they know I'm a street reporter, a real drill historian. So they be asking me shit. They be wanting my opinions on things, man. And I'm going to tell you uh, a lot of shit people been asking me lately. But I can go on for days with that. So I'm going to just pinpoint three, you know, maybe just make this a part one. But um, a lot of people been asking me about... Uh, Lil Durk in India I guess they seem to shooting all on the news They want my opinion I done did a blog on it already But like I say I think it's a crazy situation Them people are very lucky that they survived You know, somebody came in their crib You know, Durk in India returned fire The people who was in that house returned fire This was like a shootout inside the Durk house You know, I don't know if this was a burglary gone bad Or somebody was trying to come in that bitch and get them I'm not sure I've been working the circuit trying to find out But you know, this is kind of like under wraps because that was a gated community somewhere outside of Atlanta, you know, in Brusselton or Bristleton or however you pronounce it. But, you know, it's like a nice community. I'm not sure if regular street niggas from Chicago would take that opportunity to come all the way out here. But who knows? But I can tell you that, you know, this artist was killed at a hookah lounge. I could easily see Dirk being there with King Von if it wasn't for that crime they police alleging they committed where they couldn't been together. I think that might have saved Dirk's life because he couldn't been around. Uh, D-Thing lost his life in the club. Dirk could have easily been in that club with D-Thing. I could see him in that club with D-Thing. But he wasn't. That might have saved his life, you know? People came in his house. Dirk was in a room with his girl, and that room had the blicks in it. Think about it. In this big-ass mansion, big-ass crib Dirk in, he was in a room with the blick. That might have saved his life, man. You know what I'm saying? So I think this guy got to understand he has an opportunity to live a life nobody probably ever going to live. I have no idea why he want to just take the bad energy, like I say, and just throw it on him. Like, just throw the bad energy on him. I never fully understood that. It's just kind of co confusing to me, to be honest with you. Another thing is the King Von situation. A lot of people ask me about King Von and the Quando Rondo situation and shit like that. And I always tell them, man, you know, that's a touchy one. A lot of people always ask me, where do I think that stemmed from? And I still believe the internet needs to stop playing with King Von talking about this started from some bitch. Let's be honest with that, man. King, do King Von look like the type of motherfucker who, who would be on that shit because of some girl? I'm not saying you don't supposed to, but I'm saying let's not play with that. In my opinion, King Von is the type of dude who's a big homie. You know, even though he's young, he's a street dude. People look at him as a leader. I think he inherited that NBA young boy beef, in my opinion. I don't really see him beefing with him in his own accord. I think this was something he inherited from past beefs that NBA might have had with people who King Von is cool with now. Um, you know, Melly had an issue with NBA young boy back in the day and shit like that. Uh, Track and Kodak Black had an issue with Quando Rondo and NBA young boy back in the day. You got to remember T. Grizzly and NBA Youngboy got into a real serious altercation where gunshots were fired, niggas was blinking, black, 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 blink, 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 blink. They were blinking this shit. Somebody actually got killed. Uh, it was a shootout outside of a hotel, the Donald Trump Resort, I believe, in Sunny Owls in Florida that involved somebody um, in NBA Youngboy camp. I believe his ex-girlfriend ended up getting shot. Somebody on T Grizzly camp end up getting killed. Um, that's actually in the news, you know. That was in the news that happened. I think NBA Young Boy uh, and T Grizzly still beefing. To be honest with you, T Grizzly end up befriending a guy by the name of Booker Six Hundred, who's part of OTF, who's real close with King Von. King Von became OTF. I think while guys were smoking blunts, drinking, kicking the bobos, you know, they were trading war stories. I think Vaughn heard these war stories. I think all these things added up from this happening and this happening to just gave Vaughn that feeling that he don't really fuck with those niggas. You know, even though they didn't seen Quando Rondo before, I just think it finally boiled up. And maybe it was little girl things that happened that might have added to it, but I don't think was the sole reason. Then I think, you know, that's when it happened. You know, it might have been bickering and woofing from both sides. And then I think at that moment, King Von gave him the 10-piece spicy nugget with no ketchup, no barbecue sauce, no napkins. I think that's what happened. Then King Von ended up losing his life because I'm not sure if he realized. But somebody cared about that rapper who you stole on, you know. Um, 
Like I said, that's a crazy situation, too. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to play out, but I'm going to keep you updated on that. But another thing, man, that kind of had my head gone that a lot of people always ask me about, man, is Famous Dex, too. Famous Dex is another guy I'm always asked about, and Lord, I knows, huh? Like I said, this dude is a real street dude. He come from the hood, a money-making neighborhood. This guy was not from Hollywood. He was not from California. He don't know about the limelight, you know? Los Angeles and Hollywood would trap you if you ain't strong mentally or had the right structure around you. You know, Dex was already going through things. He lost his mother, and he was telling you that shit a long time ago that he lost his mother and he misses his mother. And when you don't have your mother around, I'm going to tell you what happened. You start end up getting the advice that you would normally get from your mother. You start getting that from the wrong people who don't mean you no good. You know what I'm saying? So he started getting hooked on a lot of these drugs and shit like that. Los Angeles turned California, I mean California, Los Angeles turned famous Dex out on some real shit. Then Rich the Kid didn't do him no better. Rich the Kid, you know, business-wise, it's just something weird with Rich the Kid, to be honest with you. Famous Dex was once upon a time bigger than Lil Skies. He was bigger than Takashi 6 9 He was bigger than um, Lil Yachty. He was bigger than a lot of these guys, man. Lil Uzi Vert. A lot of these guys looked up to Famous Dex's big OG. For some reason, he don't look like he's as big as them. He don't look like he's as rich as them. And I don't pocket watch people, like I tell you. So don't say truth pocket watch it. But Famous Dex be pulling the money out. He be flexing. He be stunning. He be dabbing there. He be throwing the money on the ground looking at it. I be seeing like six, seven thousand dollars on the ground. Now, I'm not saying it ain't more, but they be looking like sixty, seventy hundred dollar bills. I'm not saying that ain't a lot. But when Takashi flex, he shows a million. Lil Sky shows a half a million. Lil Yachty showing the money. These artists are showing the money. Famous X don't be showing that much money like those guys. And he was once upon a time bigger than them guys. I think Rich the Kid played this guy, man. I think that rap deal that Famous Dex is on there is just a little crooked. Rich the Kid played him for that streaming money because Famous Dex streams pretty well. Japan and a lot of his songs streams pretty well. They just don't do good on the tour and selling the albums and shit. And I think that's where Rich the Kid then got rich off of Famous Dex streams because there's no reason why Famous Dex shouldn't be bigger than all those guys, to be honest with you. And he was more famous than Rich the Kid when Rich the Kid signed him. He was bigger than Rich the Kid. I ain't saying Rich the Kid didn't know the Migos, ain't have a song with Bieber, and people didn't know him. But he was famous. Dex was richer, was famous than that nigga. Way more famous than that nigga. Rich the Kid then stole Famous Dex's whole swag. He sounds like him. He acts like him. He talks like him. He raps like him. Rich the Kid wasn't rapping like this before Famous Dex came along. He had stole Famous Dex's whole swag and made millions off of it while Famous Dex struggled with drug addictions that Rich the Kid didn't give a fuck about. And this normally happens when you got new niggas around you and you don't got 10-year niggas around you. Shit like this normally happens because new people only care about the money they're making from your likeness and your homeboys who've been around for 10 years to tell you, bro, your ass tripping. And I think that's an issue. Plug walk. You don't even understand how a fucking plug talk. Nigga, that's famous Dex all day. He just told the man rap style, the man rap cadence, and he even talk like him, he even walk like him, act like him, and does things like him. You know, famous Dex, you need to wake up and understand that this dude here has robbed you of your style and a lot of your money. You know, to be honest with you, but that's just my opinion. But those are things that a lot of people be asking me about, man. And I wanted to speak on that. I might make a part two of this shit, man, because there's a lot of shit I be wanting to talk about. And we're going to do it. But like I always say, remember, I don't need no donations. Keep them damn donations. Don't send me no damn donations. <laughs> I'm just fucking around, child. I'm okay on that. I'm a grown man. I'm going to be okay. You don't need to hurt yourself or, you know, get to struggling because you want to try to send me some money. I don't need that. You know the type of support I need? I'm finna tell you. The support I need and the support I want, I want you to hit that like button. Bing. It's free and it don't cost you none. And it ain't gonna take away from the shorties because they want them snowballs with the three flavors. They don't like the one flavors. They want the three flavors in they snowballs, mama. They want the three snowballs. They want the three flavors in they snowballs, daddy, okay? You feel me? You want to support me, you just hit the like button. Bing. When you do that, it make my videos grow. And a lot of people be able to see them. I appreciate the love for everybody. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Blah, 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 blah.